one very, uh, I would say, special thing about Gopal, Krishna Maharaj, is that uh, he combined a uh, sort of a very demure, very gentle and humble exterior with a, obviously a very powerful inner drive to please Prabhupada. You know, as we know from the earlier days of the movement, to some extent now, you can get devotees who are very passionate. They sort of have this drive for recognition or, you know, I'll show you what I can do. And they kind of channel this into Prabhupada's service. So, and then sometimes when it doesn't go so well, they kind of give up the service or retire prematurely. They sort of, you know, retire untimely. But in Gopal Krishna Maharaj, I think, Goswami, I think the proof that his attachment to Prabhupada, his devotion to Prabhupada, was really on a spiritual platform. It wasn't because of some desire for recognition, is that despite his extraordinary success, you could almost say unique success, uh, it didn't change his demeanor. He remained uh, a humble servant of Prabhupada. So if you can have that much success, that much empowerment, and you don't change at all, you're still the same person, it shows that your desires are really spiritual. The first thing that comes to mind is that they should be very, very proud of him. Because he led a, uh, a spotless life. So I think the fact that he began his devotional service in this life, obviously not his first life of devotional service, if you take seriously what Krishna says in chapter 6 of the Gita. And so... They should be very proud of him. When Prabhupada left, um, what was in my mind was that, as far as I was concerned, nothing had changed. I was not going to you know, deviate an inch from my duty to Prabhupada. Prabhupada was still present. and that. But I lamented for the world because Bhumi laments for the world because Krishna has left, at least in his manifest form. And so I think on the way to the airport on that you know, sort of melancholy, drizzly day, I was lamenting for the earth, that the earth has lost this great soul. And I think that even at this moment of great loss for Gopal's disciples, if they are really following him, and really have imbibed his mood, then they will also be lamenting for the earth, not just for themselves, because Gopal is still with his faithful disciples, and he's still there with them spiritually. Prabhupada used to say that, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a mistake on the part of a neophyte disciple to simply identify with the guru with an external form. The guru is much more than that. And so Gopal Krishna Goswami is there for his disciples. In that sense, I mean, obviously something is different, but at a more fundamental level, it's not different. And of course, their duty to their guru, despite their grief, despite their lamentation, is to redouble their determination to follow him, to do what he was doing. That's the real way to honor the guru. And because, I mean, grief is natural. Grief is, we have to honor that grief and we have to go through the grieving process. At the same time, we should not grieve to the point of being selfish. Because if you look at Gopal Krishna Goswami himself, if you look at his will, which is sort of you know, an exemplary, just an incredible example of full surrender to Prabhupada, and if you look at his life and just everything about him, he obviously is someone who lived for the benefit of others, sacrificed his own health, and sacrificed his time, just gave himself body, mind, and soul to Prabhupada's mission. So the way to honor him is, of course, there are ceremonies, and of course, uh, it's the duty of the disciple to glorify their guru. 
At the same time, the real way to show how much someone appreciates Gopal Krishna Goswami is to follow him, to you know, uh, to follow his example, to keep him very strongly as the beacon of your life. And we know, we know very clearly what he wants his disciples to do. Everyone knows that because of his full devotion to Prabhupada's mission. We know what he wants us all and his disciples to do especially. And so we all do that. If his disciples do that, that's the real Guru Bhakti. Mm -hmm. 